today we're in our miniverse kitchen and I am super excited. I've got the miniverse Halloween series two capsules. Whoa! There are four possible prizes in this series. The common prizes are the bat cake featured prominently on the wrapper here. There's also a zombie type beverage or cocktail here and some graveyard themed parfait cups. If you saw my last episode though, I have been dying to get my hand on the rare prize, a mini pet sandworm as seen in the Beetlejuice movies. So as with the special holiday edition capsules, the inner wrapper of the capsule indicates which prize you're going to get, except for the rare prize. Rumor has it that the sandworm is actually contained inside the parfait capsules. Luckily, the Wally World I went to had quite a few boxes of the Halloween series, so I was able to go through them and pick out a few of the parfait cups. Most of them weighed about 101 grams, like this one. But I did find this one that weighs 105 grams. However, according to the wonderful Miniverse Make It Mini community on Reddit, there is a better trick to finding the sandworm that we can also test out. Apparently, there's a number printed on the capsule. So on this capsule, which weighs 101 grams, the number, let's see if we can find it here. Okay, there it is. The number that is printed on the capsule has an A before it. But if we look on this capsule, which weighs 105 grams, the number that is printed here does not include the A at the front. Supposedly, the capsules without the A at the front are the rare sandworm capsules. So we're going to open these up and see for ourselves if the rumors are true. Let's start by opening the 101 gram capsule. So again, the inner wrapper of this capsule indicates that it should be a set of parfaits. Oh, look at that. It's got a double inner wrapper here. Well, that's kind of unusual. I've never seen that. Oh, and it's just exploded on me. Let's set up our table. It's purple and black. Here we have our collector's guide. Miniverse Make It Mini Food. Here we got four recipes. These are the official names of the prizes. Bug Punch, Spooky Cake, Dirt Cups, and Sandworm. And so this is going to be the Dirt Cup. Since this is our first Halloween capsule, I'm going to show you very briefly the Read Me First pamphlet that also comes comes in the capsule. It basically has more detailed instructions about how you play with this toy, complete with more of your safety aspects. This is your first miniverse capsule. You'll want to take a look at that in detail. But we're going to move on. We have a box of glasses here. Here lies two spiderweb glasses, it says. Sunny Day Party Company, limited edition. And we've got some graphics here. Sip of Spooky. <laughs> got a bunch of little spider graphics going all around the box and opening it up. We've got our little, I guess, parfait cups that have like a cute little spider web theme going on. So we've got one glass and we've got another glass here. Wow, those are adorable. Oh, on the bottom here, it looks like we've got a couple of spider web coasters, which are pretty cute. So let's put that up there. We've got one, two, three four packets. Oh, and the packaging are Halloween themed, which is pretty adorable. Even our chill out looks a little like the standard chill out, except there's little ghosts on it. That's pretty cute. Which one should we open first? I guess we'll start with have a spooky day. Oh, it feels like there's a couple of items in here. Oh, oh, it looks like we've got our baked goods here. So firstly, we have, it says Sunbaked Sweets Chocolate Pound Cake. Oh, oh my goodness. This looks like one of those disposable aluminum baking pans that usually comes with supermarket purchased products. So that's pretty cute. Let's open it up. Let's see what's inside. Oh, okay, how neat. Okay, it's not gonna stick back again. So once you take off the lid, that's it. But, oh, and so it's like a pound cake. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. It looks like it's maybe like some kinetic kind of thing. And then we 
have our sun baked sweets. Oh my goodness. So we have a couple of cookies that look like gravestones. Oops. This one says bye. And this one says rest in peace. How cute. I'm always amazed at how much detail Miniverse gets on these tiny little pieces. Okay, so we've got some cookies there. Let's open up our next packet that says trick or treat. Oh, we've got some sour worms, Sunny Day Candy Company sour worms. Oh my goodness, look at how cute that is. They're so tiny and they look so real. And on the back it says Boo Stuff. Let's read the Boo Stuff. Nutritional profile, serving size, one awesome mini. Spookiness, 100%. Gooiness, daily value, 100%. Batty fun, 100%. Total treats, 100%. Daily value is based on how much fun you'll have while making this mini. And then, of course, we've got the adorable little barcode there. Oh, how cute is that? Typically, there's the resin in the chill out packet. So let's take a look here. It says creamy milk chocolate. And on the back, it says spooky stuff. We've got our son and he has got a little toupee of sauce running on his head and down the side to give him a little sideburn. Let's take a look again at our nutritional profile for this splendid product. Spooky stuff serving size one awesome mini daily value spookiness 100% vitamin boo 100% total treats 100% daily value is based on how much it's tiny quotient it's been a while since I've seen a tiny quotient that was our creamy milk chocolate syrup in our utensil packet we should have our little knob for the top of our capsule doesn't want to come out Oh, we've got a little ghost. He's so cute. I wonder if he glows in the dark. He looks like he would glow in the dark. And then we've got our tweezers, which just fell out. And then we've got, oh, this is so cute. Look at that. They're just tiny little shovels. So these are supposed to be like the spoons. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. These tiny little <laughs> shovels. So cute. Okay, so that was indeed a dirt cup capsule. Okay, so that was super cute, but I'm kind of excited to see what's in this 105 gram capsule that is missing the A in front of this, I guess it's a stock number or UPC kind of number. Cross our fingers, folks. If the rumors are true, this should be a sandworm. So let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, looks like this one is also double wrapped here. Let's remove that. Oh, yes! We already see it. Remove this. Yay! Cue the Danny Elfman music. Oh, and look, the lid of this capsule is Beetlejuice Green. And the bottom is black and white striped. That is so cool. Okay, and opening it up, grab our table here, which looks like granite. That is really neat. We always see the same plain white diner table, so it's very novel to see it done in another material. Oh, look at that. <laughs> These are adorable. Hello, my name is. Oh my goodness. They're little stickers. How cute. And here we have a box. It says Sandy Scape Desert. And it has a little graphic of the sandworm on there. It includes Trey and Rake. Trey and Rake, Sandy Scape Desert. Open that. <laughs> Okay, so it's kind of like a zen thing, like a zen garden. Look at that. We've got the graphic continuing on the interior of the box too. That's sweet. It kind of looks like a matchbox. This tray is kind of like a blue marble. Delia Dietz would approve. Look at this little rake. Oh my goodness. It's so cute. It seems like it's supposed to be like a little desktop zen garden thing. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the, <laughs> these packages just look so adorable. What do I open first, guys? Oh my goodness, this is just so over the top cool. 
We've seen these little pet carrier boxes in the home series. Pet sandworm. Oh my goodness. Two heads. <laughs> should say two heads are better than one. That's what it should say. Call me. Oh, look at that. It's just like the little pet carrier boxes in the home series. Oh my goodness, this is just so adorable. Oh, it's in pieces. So first we've got the tail here. And then we've got some packing material. Poor sandworm, he's all, he's all in pieces. Oh, and then we've got his body. Feels kind of rubbery here. And then we've got the head with, yeah, two heads. Oh, I don't think I ever noticed that they had like a dorsal fin. All right. So we've got our sandworm from this cute little pet carrier box. Too adorable. It's so tiny, but yet totally functional. It's just so amazing. Which of these packages do I go in first? Oh my goodness. Let's do this one. All aboard the Soul Train. Carefully cut this open so that we don't destroy the contents on the inside. Oh, and we've got quite a few items here. It's just kind of falling. <laughs> so this just fell out and it looks like the little waiting ticket number from the first Beetlejuice. So we've got that. Oh, we just got a bunch of things here. Oh my goodness. So we have a copy of the afterlife here until death do us part. Then what? Too bad it's all a bunch of lorem ipsum text. A one-way ticket to the great beyond. The Soul Train daily timetable. Oh my goodness, that's funny. Business and services. Searching for fulfillment in your afterlife. Volunteer as a caseworker today. Caseworker theater. A living restaurant experience. Pasta way. Pasta way. Need to get rid of flesh bags? Call Beetlejuice Bio Exorcist, okay? I guess that's what they call the living back in the neither world. Flesh bags, pests of all kinds, roaches, fleas, spiders, bed bugs, rats, snakes, maggots, ticks, hornets. I guess pests are a problem in the afterlife. The afterlife, subscribe today. Very cute. And then here we have, oh yes, in case of emergency, door. <laughs> Knock three times, just like in the first Beetlejuice when Barbara and Adam draw a door to get to the neither world to see their caseworker. Okay, and then here we have Handbook for the Recently Deceased. No, Handbook for the Recently Deceased. Oh, and it's totally blank. Oh, that would have been cute if they had put something in there. So we got our own copy of the handbook for the recently deceased. Wow, there was a lot in that packet. Let's see what the next packet has. Hopefully it's just as fun. Let's not destroy the graphics here. Exercise your right to rest in peace. Got no guts? At a dead end? Call now. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. That's an interesting way of spelling that name. So in this packet, we've got two items. Here we have our sand, Saturn sand for sandworms. That's right. I forgot from the first movie, this is called Saturn. I wonder why. As in Saturn, the planet? Is that where the neither world is on the planet Saturn? No, let's look at the back here. Worm friends approved quality sand. Oh, this is just like the home series for the pets. Cute. So it looks like we've got some, looks like yellow sand. It looks like a light yellow. And then here we have set of two desert rocks. Fits sandy scape tray. Oh, neat. Okay, let's open this clamshell up. Looks just like miniature versions of what was shown on the movie. That is adorable. Oh, wow, there's a lot in this capsule. Okay, our utensil packet, it says deal, explain, attention, deliver. Hmm, okay. Never trust the living. I'm not sure what's going on with all of this. But I haven't seen the second movie yet. I can feel that we've got our tweezers there. So we've got a pair of tweezers. Oh, and we've got our little ghost. And I guess that's it. We don't get a utensil. So let's take a look at our instructions here. So this is supposed to be an ultra rare. Looks like we've got all our pieces. Let's see what it says to do here. First, we put 
Oh, it looks like the head comes off this stand. Okay. And then we put the head into the sand with the door. And then we put the sand and then we rake the sand. And then we put the other pieces on. And ta-da! Open up this bag of Saturn sand. Oh, look at that. That yellow is definitely stunning against the blue there. Oh, but it is pretty messy. Oh my goodness. This stuff just gets all over the place. And then we'll put our sandworm guy in there. That's pretty cute. That is pretty neat. Got our little aquarium dressing here. That there. Okay, that is pretty adorable. And then let's get this in case of emergency door. I love how this door is blister packaged. Looks so realistic, like it would in life size I'm trying not to destroy the packaging totally oh that is too adorable put that there well that is cute but i can just imagine this sand just getting everywhere so we are going to try something else I purchased this Kinetic Sand Flow Fetty Tube from my local Kroger. Everything seems to revolve around the surprise toy these days. So you get two colors of Kinetic Sand in this Flow Fetty. And there's three possible options. There's a white and a blue, I believe. And then there's like a orange and a red or pink kind of dark pink and then there's also a yellow and green combination so I am going to bank on this being the yellow and green because if you take a look here at the perforation on the wrapper you can kind of see that there's nothing along here but here it looks like there could be two colors so I'm, I'm thinking that's the green and that is the yellow so we're gonna see if I'm right because I want the yellow and so it looks like that is indeed the yellow yay yellow and green yay all right we got the right one I'm stoked, people. Okay, so let's open up this end. There's a mold in there. Oh, that's kind of neat. You can make like mini kinetic sand treats. Oh, and then you get a bag of some kind of confetti. And then open this other end to get the kinetic sand out. Here's another mold. It looks like a donut of some sort. So that yellow is not exactly the correct yellow, but there's nothing like kinetic sand. Look at that. It's just so awesome. It flows and yet it manages to stay together. Look at that. That is so cool. It's definitely not the same yellow, but hey, the nice thing about kinetic sand, as opposed to even kinetic sand that you might be able to make yourself, is that it doesn't really dry out. I think it's more oil-based as opposed to water-based, so it might get a little hard, but then once you start playing with it again, it fixes itself. Here I have kind of like an offset spatula. Use it to pat down our kinetic sand and kind of smooth it out throughout. Oh, well, you can't really rake it. It doesn't really rake very nicely. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but look at how neat it is. <laughs> Literally neat. Let's get our door in there. Put the head of our sandworm in there. And then we have the body and we have the tail. And then we can put our landscape rocks. The kinetic sand doesn't exactly hold on to the pieces. You have to spend a little time to bury it. Try this other spatula to kind of help bury our pieces. Wiggle this one in there and put our other landscape rock there. And maybe put this door on a hill. Let's put a mound of kinetic sand there. Woo! In this miniature scale, a little goes a long way. Building up my little mound in this corner here. Let's try and bury it. Let's put more kinetic sand going around. Build that up around the tail a bit. Replace our rock formation here. There, so now we can see the tail better. So you do kind of get something a little bit more dynamic with the kinetic sand. Secure our sandworm head in here. Coolness. 
just smooth it out and there you have it wow you can almost invert it and it'll be okay the kinetic sand will hold that is pretty neat and of course you could just tear it all apart and redo it however you want it to i've tried to make kinetic sand using cornstarch and other household products it turns out a bit more slimy not as fluffy and liquidy almost this is like liquid I've never been able to get my DIY kinetic sand that liquidy, but I don't know. Maybe you've got a great recipe that you can share. I'd like to hear about it because it would be neat to use the sand that comes with it and make kinetic sand. If you're not happy with that, you can just pull it all apart and do something else. Maybe follow the contours of the sandbox here. It's definitely neat that they did that to the sides. Gave it a more organic look. Let's try to raise it even higher, the door this time. I think that's kind of great when it's in the back like that. I think that looks very appropriate. That's kind of what happens in the movie, right? They fall into, I guess, Saturn. So we'll do a little mound there. Oops, I have such butter fingers, guys. Okay. That's a pretty good mound. See if we can make it blend just with our finger here. Cool. Just plop our door there. And then let's put some of this stuff around it. Coolness. Maybe we'll use our tool here to kind of tamp it down so that it's more secure. And then the head here. And then we'll put the middle part of his body there. Maybe we'll put this here. Bury it in the sand. Put the smaller rock here in the front. And then the bigger one in the back over here. Ta-da! And there you have it, Miniacs. Thanks to our friends on Reddit, we were able to find the rare sandworm in the Make It Mini Halloween Series 2 capsules and we were able to put it together with some kinetic sand to create a malleable version of our Sandy Scape Desert Sandworm. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you had as much fun as I did. And remember, growing old is unavoidable, but growing up is optional. So do something fun today. Until next time, bye! He would go in the dark. Oh, look, he does. Ooh.